Hello, I'm Travis Ryan. Work for Carl Belt Incorporated. We're out of Western Maryland. I'll be running the 175 today. This particular crane's got about 1,500 hours on it. We have a Link Belt 75 ton truck crane and a 90 ton truck crane also. This this crane in particular here is nice for us because it's in the hills. In the hills where we run, it holds itself back well in the downhill grades and climbs the steep grade up pretty well. Also being in all terrain, it's for different sites. It's nice because some of them are rough and tight. You get all your wheels steering. A lot of like cell phone tower sites and all you can get to. It fits really well with what we do. So the job we're going to be doing here today is going to be uh, box beam, beams, pre-stressed concrete. They're approximately 20 tons. We'll be putting them out there 45 feet. The other job, Kaiser, we're doing uh, rooftop units. They're approximately 120 foot radius on those, running 165 foot of boom. The crane handles it well. It's got more than enough chart, easy to move around. So you, everything's very smooth on this crane. Everything works really good. You can see everything, the cameras all around. You can watch your winch. You've got blind spot mirrors. There's pretty much no area that you can't see what's going on. The good fit for us for this crane is mainly being longer boom, being an all-terrain, you can get into some rough sites. Or even some of these jobs we get into is tight quarters with small roads, being back roads and everything. So it fits really well. Easy to use. I have no complaints about any of it. Uh, assembly and disassembly is really good. We travel a crane that's 175 ton. We get around with just two tractor trailers falling around, so it's pretty easy to get around places. And installing and taking counterweights off is easy. It's all, I mean, pretty much paint by numbers. Everything's right on your screen. Just follow the radiuses and you're, you're good. Yeah, the lighting on this crane is amazing. It's got lights all over it. So we, we've done a couple jobs at night and there's lights never been an issue. You got lights on the boom that's adjustable. You can make them go where you want, so there's usually no dark spots. I use the, the winch a lot of times if you're in a blind spot. I mean, you also have your thumper on it, letting you know you're hoisted up. But you can also watch that, make sure you're not getting no uh, bad wraps on it or anything like that. So we had this crane down at Kaiser, which is about 20 miles away from here, and it's about 40 miles on this side of our shops. That, that job down there was doing the rooftop units. So instead of going back to for another crane with the fuel costs and everything, it's, it's easy to run this one even if you only need half the counterweight because it's still got a good chart with half counterweight, and you can just still break it up with two guys, and you've got, you've got one truck versus two, and it's just cheaper all the way around versus going back for another crane. It just works out really well. Yeah, right here we're using full counterweight, and on the Kaiser job, we'll run on 41.6, about half counterweight, and you just run it out as that, and you'll have two, two guys versus three, but saving money because you're not running another crane back and forth. We put that to the test all the time around here. No matter where we go, where our shop is, you're going uphill no matter which way you go. So yeah, you can, you can come off hills, and usually if you think it's real steep, by the time you're off the bottom, you're actually feathering the gas to get make it go. It'll hold back really well, especially for the weight. You don't have to have 10 trucks following the crane around this size. Every job that we've done, it's done exactly what it's supposed to do for us. I mean, I've never had a complaint. I think it's really nice. I mean, it's been enjoyable to run for me.